What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we are talking about something that's very near and dear to my heart, affordable watches and having an affordable watch collection. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, you will know that I own watches that are in the luxury category, and then I own watches that are in the affordable category. In fact, I'm a big fan of micro brands and brands like Seiko, Bulova, and Tissot. But when it comes to affordable watches, I really, really love the options that affordable brands offer. And I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of other YouTubers have made videos about reasons why you should collect affordable watches. I'm just gonna give you a few reasons, and those few reasons are really personal to me, of why I think other people should collect affordable watches, not only luxury watches. So my first reason is that some affordable watches actually have way more in common with luxury watches than you realize. Today, I'm actually wearing a Bulova hack. This was lent to me by the brand, and the Bulova hack has a ton of history. And not only that, Bulova has a lot of brand credentials. They are very, very well known, and they have a very rich history in watchmaking and in history. This watch was made during World War II, it was supplied to the armed forces. What an incredible story. And there are a lot of other watches out there from IWC, from Rolex, from Omega, that have a very similar story, a very similar background. These were military purpose-built tool watches, and this is one of them. It just so happens that this is in a, more, a more affordable version of one of those other watches. So if this was an IWC, it would be $2,000, $3,000. If it was an Omega, it would be in the same ballpark. But this watch comes in at $350, so there are watches out there that are affordable that not only have that brand heritage but have the history those other major luxury watches have and you can get it for a fraction of the price and there's plenty of examples not only this watch specifically Bulova have a lot in there in their arsenal the Bulova Luna Pilot a watch that's been to the moon similar to the Omega Speedmaster Again, a watch that is quartz, however, a very affordable watch. You can get it from anywhere between $300 and $500 on a bracelet or on a strap, whatever you feel like, but it's an affordable watch. And it has a lot of history and a lot of brand behind it. Very, very cool. My next reason is that you could get a lot of watches for the price of one. A perfect example is that I have an Omega Planet Ocean. And that Planet Ocean comes in at around $3,000 to $4,000 on the secondary market. For that price, I am getting one dive watch. Now, if I'm a dive watch collector and I wanted to buy a bunch of dive watches, I could buy a lot of dive watches for that money. In fact, if I was thinking about micro brands, Zelos, Notice, there are a bunch of micro brands that offer really affordable, really well made, Borealis is another one, for the price. Are their quality as good as the Omega? No, but they are offering a lot of value for that money. For the dollar spent, you're getting an incredible amount of value in those watches. They won't have an in-house movement, but they will have pretty good finishing and they'll have ceramic bezels and textured dials, full bracelets that are, that are stainless steel with screwed links, things like that, that are comparable to the Omega. Are they as nice as the Omega? No, but you're paying a fraction of the price. And if you don't want to have just dive watches in your collection, like me, I have a bunch of different watches, but I focus mainly on dive watches, you could get a pilot's watch. You can get a, a dive watch. You can get a few dive watches. You can get a few pilot's watches, all for the price of that one Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. It makes sense to have a number of watches in your collection. So if you're only going to be buying one watch, I would definitely recommend considering starting with the cheaper watches, figuring out what you really like, and then eventually working your way up to a more expensive watch. That's basically how I started collecting. I started with a cheaper collection and then I eventually bought more and more expensive watches and then I started buying cheaper watches again because there's my third reason really. It's the joy and the fun of collecting. People really forget that we're in a hobby here and we're watch collectors and that's what I do. I love getting a watch, opening the box and discovering my new watch. 
And there's two things that you really need to think about. I have bought luxury watches and spent thousands of dollars on those watches, got it, opened it, and then I was not that enthusiastic about it. Sometimes they grow on me and then I end up really loving the watch, but sometimes I don't. And then I want to sell the watch. Or I just don't wear the watch and I feel bad about it. Or I lose money on the watch when I sell it and I just feel terrible. With a more affordable collection, with a more affordable watch, like a Notice or a Zelos, like I, like I keep on bringing up, or a Borealis or whatever watch that you could think of, when you buy one of those watches, it's not a huge amount of money that you're laying out up front. It's four hundred, three, four, five hundred dollars. And then if you don't love the watch, it's not gonna hurt as much. And you could always sell the watch for near to what you paid for it. You might lose a little bit of money, but you're not gonna lose a thousand dollars. You're not gonna lose thousands of dollars. So that brings me to another point, servicing. Now, if you have a big collection, servicing is not really an issue. People go crazy over servicing and it's really not that big of a deal. But if you're buying a watch and you're wearing only one watch and you buy a Rolex, let's say, if you need to get that Rolex serviced, eventually it's going to cost you $1,000. And that $1,000 can buy you two to three micro brand watches. And it doesn't have to be only micro brands. As I mentioned, Seiko, you could buy an SKX, an incredible iconic watch. Bulova makes tons of iconic watches, and so does Tissot, another great brand. Citizen, there are tons of brands out there that you should check out if you're looking for heritage and, and, and all of that. And you could buy a watch for the amount that it would cost to actually service these watches. These other watches that I'm talking about, the three to four to $500 range, servicing is a lot cheaper. They're using movements that are actually cheaper to service, and they're cheaper just in general, so it's easy to just replace parts if needed. Anyway, I just figured I'd bring this up because I like to talk about these things with you guys and see what you have, uh, have to say about it. I really like to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think. I want some feedback. Put some comments in the comment section below. Also, I wanted to bring up today I am wearing a shirt that was actually given to me by a brand called Into the AM. They make some really great graphic t-shirts and also basic t-shirts. And actually, I was in the market for basic t-shirts. I always am. And uh, these come in at only three for forty dollars or something like that. Very, very cheap, very affordable. This is a 60/40, so 60% cotton, 40% uh, polyester. But they also make 100% cotton T-shirts as well. Uh, just really good stuff. And uh, they are sending me some to wear on screen. So here you go. Uh, I have a link in the description if you're interested in buying some T-shirts. Definitely check out their website. Uh, I think they make some pretty really cool stuff. Also. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and much appreciated. Also, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description below. Those links are to Amazon. If you buy anything through those links, it does not have to be the watches that I have linked to. It helps support the channel. doesn't cost you anything extra or interrupt your Prime benefits. Anyway, thank you guys. I will catch you in the next video and have a good one.